My name's Nikki Oxall and I work for Pasture for Life and I also sit on the Nature Friendly Farming Network Scotland Steering Group. Species rich grassland is in serious decline in Scotland and since the 80s we've lost probably around half of our species rich grassland. As a result of this our pollinators are, are at significant risk of decline as well and the impact of that on our functioning ecosystems is, is severe. As such, Pasture for Life and Nature Friendly Farming Network have been collaborating on a project in the Cairngorm National Park to try and help farmers to use mob grazing techniques to create rest in their system which will help flowering plants have the opportunity to express themselves in their fields. And by doing this, we hope to just raise those levels of species richness in their grassland areas and in their fields to give a little bit of a boost to those pollinators and to help increase levels of biodiversity in the National Park. I'm Duncan Miller. Uh, we farm here at Telecorn Farm and uh, we farm beef cows, so we've got about 120 cows. So grassland plays probably the most important part on this farm. Having a good having good management for us is key. So hopefully we can get these cows to to perform to the best of their ability and yeah, make this a bit more profitable. We used to be fairly set stopped. The cows would just kind of go out in the summer and then be turned out and kind of left to it, maybe an occasional move there to onto silage aftermath and things like that. So, but we're trying to implement more of a rotational grazing system, and through the winter as well, we are trying to do some more stockpile winter grazing as well. We wanted to try and become a more profitable and resilient business, so by doing some rotational grazing or stockpiling grass into the winter we could hopefully cut down on our feed costs and extend the grazing and keep the, guys, keep the cows grazing for as long as possible. Through the changes we have seen probably more content cows, happier cows, especially on the, the stockpile winter grazing. Um, the cows are out grazing instead of standing at a gate waiting for us to bring them food. Mm -hmm. It's just a case of moving a wire and then they can get on with it there. We try and keep the cows moving more often, we try and allow for longer rest periods uh, to try and hopefully grow more grass. So I think we need to get our, our water sorted so if we can get some water piped into them and into troughs and Hopefully we can be a bit more flexible where we're going to be grazing them. And this group came along, so if I was doing it already, I wanted to be involved with it, and so I could have somebody to, or a group of people to bounce ideas off instead mm -hmm. of just looking at YouTube videos and guessing it and using trial and error. I've got somebody to to say, is this a good idea or is it a bad idea? So I think that's that was the real main benefit of it, and. And just so I could learn more about what we're actually farming, it's easy, you know, I think we normally would just shove the cows out, there'd be grass there and that would be it, they would be happy. But if, the more you look into it and the more you see what's within your pastures, it's quite interesting and, you know, if we can try work with it and try and take the benefits from what's within it, then it can only help. When I had the cows out the other day, we spotted a wee pink flower uh, which I then found out was the cuckoo flower which apparently likes wet grasslands and is a sign of spring is here so it was quite interesting to see and I've spotted like orchids and things like that so it's quite nice to to see what's what's within the pasture. <laughs>